Um, <laughs> firstly, Herzlich willkommen bei der Fiestbahn Top of Adventure. Schön, Sie bei uns zu haben. Die Fahrzeit nach Fiest dauert 25 Minuten. What the hell? What the absolute heck? Das war 840 jetzt noch nicht Mittagessen. Ja, gut, das ist nicht ganz das Gleiche. Du bist nicht, du bist noch ein Cheat. Ich habe schon Messi gesagt, ich habe jetzt wieder abgeschenkt. Literally having like a spread on bread for lunch. It is moments like these that you wish you skied because I have to walk. Exhibit A. My goodness, I'm puffing because I had to carry all my, all my, my snowboard and boots and stuff from the bus stop to my, to my hotel and then up the stairs. Should have gone up the lift, but I didn't even think about it. Anyway, <clears throat> I had the best day today. <laughs> oh, I forget how much I love snowboarding. It's so cool. I didn't even have, I didn't have any major stacks today, which I was very impressed with. So I've got one more day of snowboarding left. Um, definitely fell over a few times, but it was like I'd overturned, had too much speed and fell over. And I was like, whoops. <laughs> but um, God, it was beautiful. Like just, I don't even know how to describe it. It was so cool. And there were so many lifts and so many things, places to go and runs to do. And my favorite was, I went all the way up to Iga um, Gondola, which is like the tallest one in this section of Jungfrau. And I just, there was a 24 or a 26, I think both were blue. So like beginner. And I took the one on the left um, because I'd already kind of gone past the path to take the other one without even knowing it. And I was like, well, well, I'll just take this one then. And it was beautiful. It was stunning. It was like through the trees, which was so nice because the rest of it was just open, like wide open snow, which was also really nice. But um, yeah, massive day. I'm gonna have a shower. And um, yesterday the reception guy invited me to have a fondue dinner with this like, like 40 different Kentucky people that showed up, but um, I'm super tired and I don't know if I feel like socializing today slash he didn't really say I could join. He was like, yeah, you can come down and kind of like sit on the side. I was like, well, I'm not going to just come down and sit on the side. Like that's weird. So I've found this burger joint, which is back at Inc Interlac and Ost, but it's really not going to take that far to get to. So I might go there. These, these burgers are massive. I can't speak. Blah, blah, blah. These burgers are massive. They look delicious. So... Also, amazing. I'm so lucky. There has not been. Look how rosy my cheeks are. There has not been one moment this trip 
that I haven't been so grateful. Like, I just honestly, I don't have the words. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. I'm just, I'm so grateful that this is the way that my life has turned out. And just a little bit of inspo. If you have a dream that you want to do, just keep putting steps towards it and just do it because one day you'll get there if you try hard enough and it'll be the most amazing thing. Amazing. It looks like a painting. <sighs> Gorgeous. <sighs> My point of view. One thing I do need to do is I need to lay this stuff out to dry because one, it's going to smell and two, it needs to be not wet because I've fell over a couple of times. And even like when you're snowboarding, so, so many times I didn't have enough speed to get up the hill. So I had to unclip and like scoot or just literally walk the way. And then when I got back there, I'd have to sit down to re-strap my boots. It's, it's, it's a lot of work. The people on skis are just like, oh, I'll just push myself for like 10 minutes or 10 minutes, 10 meters. To all you skiers out there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, it's, I don't know, Thursday today, so it's my last, like, full day being here, and the plan was to get up early and go back up to, um, Grindelwald and have another full day at snowboarding. Alas, plans don't always go to plan, and I woke up with my period this morning, which I was expecting, um, but hoping that it would be manageable and just like a bit of a finger to all the boys who get to plan trips and never have to worry about if their parents gonna come while they want to be like physically active all the time it's so annoying oh. so i've just carved myself up gonna take some panadol because i love drugs It's definitely Marie's hair, it's not my hair. <laughs> it's far too long. I'm gonna drag myself up and I'm gonna get on the train and I'm gonna just go and I'm gonna see how I go. Um, yeah. Shit timing, but this is life and we just let the chips fall where they may and then we just eat the chips. So. I'm going to go up to Grindelwald first today. Um, there's also a cliff walk there, so if the snowboarding gets too much, then I can just put my snow gear in the racks and I can just go for a bit of a walk, walkie walkie, which is not as uh, intensely physical. So, yeah. The bus literally just drove straight past me. Same number, same stop that I've been catching every day, just drove straight past. Period Rachel is not letting this go quite easily. <laughs> okay, today has not been my day so far. Um, <laughs> Firstly, Herzlich willkommen bei der Fiestbahn Top of Adventure. Schön Sie bei uns zu haben. Die Fahrzeit nach Fiest dauert 25 Minuten. Genießen Sie die Fahrt. Oh, yeah. Bienvenue dans le Fiestbahn Top of Adventure. Mm. Mm -hmm. Le trajet jusqu'à Fiest dure 25 minutes. Yes. Nous sommes heureux de vous accueillir à bord. Nous vous souhaitons une journée riche en expérience. Welcome to the first bar, Top of Adventure. Great having you on board. The journey to first takes 25 minutes. Enjoy your journey. Thank you. Anyway, <sighs> woke up, got my period. It's very on and off. Sometimes on the first day, I'm charging, ready to go. Other days, I'm in the fetal position, just dying, basically. And, like, that's probably not even comparable to what some 
poor women face with endo so not to compare but anyway that's just me and my body but uh last time i got it cheering this time not so much so i'm panadoled up um next thing that happened was the bus just completely drove straight past me so i had to wait another 30 minutes for the next bus to come um so that was really fun and then I got to, I was on the train and my ski pass didn't work because I forgot that the guy at the hostel only gave me a two day pass and then was gonna extend it on the third day. Don't know why that was ever the original plan anyway. So I didn't have a valid ticket, so I had to pay $10 for the train. And then when I got to the terminal, I had to extend my ticket, which instead of costing 40 francs a day, cost me 56, which is not, it's only 16, Frank Moore, but still, money is money. So I was a wee bit frustrating. And then I am going to a different, um, like, section of the mountain today, which means, oh, my God, there are, like, alpacas there. Oh. Or are they llamas? And there's a dog. Sorry. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I had to catch a bus to this other ski lift that I'm on right now. By myself, obviously. <laughs> and then when I was on the bus, I was like, shit, is there going to be a place to lock my backpack? And there is a place to lock my backpack, but it's one franc um, and you have to pay with cash. And I had no cash because nowhere needs cash. And so I went to the lady and I said, can I get cash out here? Like, oh, what's the go? And she was quite, like, blunt. She was like, no, do you have cash? I can give you cash. I was like, no, I don't have any cash. And she was like, I can't help you then. I was like, oh. I was so tempted. There were so many people coming up to ask them if I could just have one franc, like one dollar. That's it. <sighs> but I didn't. And I could have, like, walked back down the hill to, like, the main city centre to buy something with and get cash out. But I just put all of my expensive items in my pockets and left my backpack in a locker that didn't have an actual lock on it. Turned out that the number was 17, which is my favorite number. It's my lucky number. So I'm hoping, <laughs> please, gods above, that no one takes it. Um, Switzerland is supposed to be a pretty safe country. And honestly, like, you'd have to go in there looking because it's not like a busy part. It's not like a busy part of the terminal, and all the the lights are censored, so it's like you'd have to. It looks dark. Like you wouldn't go in there unless you actually wanted to lock something up. So, been a stressful morning, and then I was trying to eat some lunch because I packed my lunch to take with me, but now I can't because I can't take my backpack up here. So I was having some like hummus and bread. Um, mind you, fair enough. I was sitting on a table, like, outside a restaurant, like a bench chair. And I got away with a good, like, maybe t five, ten minutes. And then the lady came out and got up me and told me to go away. So I had to go sit on the steps on the ground. Um, so it's been a stressful morning and my hormones are running wild. And there's been so many times a day where I'm like, no, nah, that's it. <laughs> but it's only 12.30. I have the full afternoon and evening ahead of me. We can't give up on the day just yet. Um, goodness gracious. So, yeah. I'm just taking it as it comes today. absolute heck this is actually insane this is like a giant bowl it is the widest run i've ever snowboarded in my life <laughs> like i'm experienced it is just breathtaking i just can't even oh my god <laughs>
19, 10, Relief. Literally the whole way down. I was like, all right, if you lose your backpack, you're going to have to get a new one. And you're going to have to buy Marie some new boots. And, and I was like literally making all the plans. And then I was doing like the Spider-Man MJ thing where it's like, expect to be disappointed. So I was just expecting the worst. And then my bag is still here. My bag is still here. My bag is still here. All right, I really need to pee. Pistachio, delicious, and dark chocolate. I think pistachio is my new favorite. I mean, Georgia really wants to come to Switzerland. The Switzerland. She would love it here. Cartier. This whole street is just designer. Designer, designer, designer. I don't belong here. So I just got home. Um, oh shit. <laughs> Filled this up with water and started drinking it. And then I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, oh, what's that on my chin? <laughs> I've had this on my chin ever since I ate that ice cream. So, like, maybe 30 minutes while I've been like walking around shopping. Hopefully, I mean, probably no one would have seen it because like my chin would have been down. But such a grub. And we're off. Found a coffee. Tastes like Australian coffee. Best morning ever. And gorgeous morning walk to the train station. How is this for river quality? I mean, it's got nothing on the brown snake of Brisbane, but you know, I can see the floor, and people will be like, it's really not that deep, Rachel. Yeah, but like, freaking, it's so crystal clear. It's so clean and gorgeous here. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a bit of a wacky talk for some of you, but number one, read the book The Alchemist. Number two, oh my gosh, follow your omens in your life, people. So yesterday, I accidentally dropped my um, ski pass, and this person was like, oh, you dropped your ski pass, and then they were joking with me, so I joked along with them. And then he ended up being Australian and telling me not to go paragliding, which was really nice of him because, like, you know, he could have got the money for it for his company. And then he recommended me a cafe that makes good coffee. And so then I went there and the people that were in the cafe are Australian. What? And then also the other day when I was exploring Marin, I walked past these, like, this family that was having a snowball fight and I laughed at them and then they started throwing snowballs at me and so then I threw like a snowball back like just live a little you know like take some chances you'll have so much more fun hey buddy where those little legs go
made it to the train. <laughs>